Hey YouTube, I'm back for my 13th narrated PBR battle. Lucky number 13, and yes, great luck. I'm against an Uber user. Uh, to be fair, this guy's just using a VGC team, so I can't be too upset. Um, doesn't have items on two of his guys, not sure why. Um, so maybe he doesn't know what he's doing, but oh well. Um, I consider my options for a while. Um, decide not to go with Torterra and instead go with Lantern, uh, since Lantern will be crucial to taking out Giratina with a super effective Ice Beam if I need to. Um, and the battle begins. I chose Gateway Coliseum because I hadn't really before, and you know it, they all look pretty on uh, PBR pretty much. Um, so out go Steelix and Gardevoir. Uh, Gardevoir is going to Focus Blast Dialga, who will take it as a super effective hit. Um, Steelix will finish off uh, Dialga, hopefully, with an Earthquake. Um, Dialga goes first with Roar of Time. Uh, luckily, only attacks Steelix, who absorbs the hit. Um, Steelix has a lot of special defense, so wasn't really worried there. Um, Giratina vanishes, so it's a good thing I didn't try to attack it. Um, Focus Blast gets Dialga down to very low HP, uh, and Steelix is able to finish it off with Earthquake. Now the question is, what is Earthquake going to do to Gardevoir, um, who, you know, isn't, doesn't have the greatest uh, defense of any Pokemon. Uh, so Dialga goes down, uh, and I'm in, su I'm in suspense here, and then Gardevoir takes the hit really well. Um, I put in a lot of defense EVs, um, but even so, that's, that's, not bad. that's not half bad. Uh, it also has to do with the fact that Steelix doesn't have that great attack. He sends out, um, or she sends out Gardevoir, uh, I'm sorry, um, sends out Milotic, who I absolutely hate. Um, not having to do with anything in PBR, but um, one of the, uh, Col not Coliseum, one of the um, Battle Frontier trainers, um, I think an Emerald uses a Milotic that absolutely ruins my life. Also, I think one of the um, uh, people in um, Platinum, the Elite Four, I think, um, the last guy in the Elite Four uses a Milotic that's extremely annoying. Okay, uh, so I switched up both of my guys. Um, Lantern takes um, both hits from the opposition, uh, but Lantern's a tank and takes it really well um, and restores some health with leftovers. Uh, and Lantern's going to Thunderbolt um, that Milotic. Uh, annoying that they show the Japanese names because if you're against a complete Japanese opponent, what are you supposed to do? I mean, it's hard, you know, how are you supposed to tell which one's which if you don't know Japanese? Anyway, I put a sub up on Rotom. Um, that turned out to be a bad move. I didn't know um, that this Giratina was just going to keep on using, um, that this Giratina was going to keep on. Uh, using uh, Shadow Force, and so I'd only get a chance to attack it once every other turn. Uh, Lantern does Thunderbolt, even though it's in love. That's a trooper for you. Um, but Milotic hangs in there because Milotic is also a freaking tank. Um, Lantern, I gotta switch out because I hate love. Well, not as a real, in the real world, of course, but uh, I hate love in the game. You know, 50% chance of not moving or doing anything. Um, I mean, it's not as bad as Confusion, but still. Uh, Rotom uses Charge Beam, and it misses. Ah, oh well. And Giratina uses Shadow Force uh, against... Um, oh, right, against Rotom. So I was predicting that, and that's a good thing. Uh, Rotom's substitute goes down, kind of wasted, but oh well. Um, Ice Beam hits uh, Rotom, but Rotom's uh, decently bulky and takes the hit. Um, Steelix goes and goes for an Earthquake, since it's not going to affect Rotom. And Rotom uses Shadow Ball against Giratina, since it's not going to have too many opportunities to do so. Uh, Shadow Ball goes, and it hits, and Giratina loses a little less than half of its health. Uh, not, not bad, pretty respectable. Giratina vanishes. Uh, Milotic uses Recover. But now, okay, I want to watch this. Uh, health is restored, and then Steelix uses Earthquake. Um, and how much health does that take? Let's see. Um, yeah, it's pretty much back to the same level. So it did about 50%, so the recovery was basically wasted. Um, so 
whatever, neutral for me, uh, neutral for him. I substitute again because I know that Giratina is coming for me. Um, getting kind of low on HP, so I can't do that too much more. Um, Giratina uses Shadow Force. It hits, breaks the substitute. Um, getting kind of repetitive at this point. Um, so uh, not doing much attacking, and then his Milotic is recovering. So this is a, uh, not much different than the last turn. Uh, Steelix uses Earthquake um, and basically undoes the recover. Oh, but it hits Giratina and brings Giratina down to within Shadow Ball killing range. Fantastic. <laughs> um, Rotom uh, uses Shadow Ball, takes out Giratina, and, um, and then, let's see, so Giratina is down for the count. Big guy, come on. They take so long to fall. Uh, any Carrots um, makes a reference to that at some point. Uh, hilarious, hilarious channel uh, if you haven't checked out Any Carrots. Um, she's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, so Rotom goes down from a critical hit uh, Hydro Pump, whatever. But uh, luckily, that boosts the power of Earthquake, not that I needed it, um, and Milotic goes down. So I've got three guys left, well, he's only got the one. So um, even though this guy was using Ubers uh, and was trying out a VGC team, uh, you know, I'm doing pretty well. I send out Gardevoir because of Gardevoir's ability, uh, Trace, is only, only has one target, and so I get Volt Absorb. So... Um, Jolteon will have no stab against my Pokemon, since they both resist electric. Um, actually, had I send out um, Lantern, Lantern is, uh, has Volt Absorb as well. Um, so Gardevoir uses Psychic, uh, does a huge amount of damage to Jolteon, um, and Steelix uses Stone Edge, just didn't feel like doing any more damage excuse me, to um, uh, Gardevoir, and the battle is over. Uh, Jolteon goes down, and my Sydney Pass took out a team of Ubers. Awesome! I've been waiting to do that since, like, my second match. Um, yeah, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Peace out.